Well, oh, this is Tim with Tadai Farm, and uh, we're going to start working on this soil cooler here on this 1086 today. So, got it backed out here. We're just here in front of the barn here, and we're going to clean all this oil and gunk out of down in there. It's, I know it's hard to see, but we're going to use this super clean and just get that all soaked down in there and clean that out. And then we got all this out here. So, you guys have all seen this before. So we're gonna get this cleaned up. And then I got an oil leak right here. So I got new hoses and new clamps. And it runs right back here to the oil pump. So that's what we're working on right now. We're gonna get this cleaned up first, then we'll get them oil lines out. This was straightforward. I just took a knife, cut these off, and slit this and pulled it off. I drained the oil out of this into a pan, pulled the wire hoses out. I got new hoses already run in here. I know I'm kind of jumping ahead on this, but guys, it's pretty straightforward on this. Just run the hoses. Here's what I was told, and this is why we're gonna pick the video up here. I was told that these will drain the oil pan or the yeah the transmission oil but th that's a pump right there to pump that through that uh so what i did i picked up these plugs right here just ace hardware I used a pair of crimps i got it crimped right now this one i already did i cut it because I kind of wanted to see what happened. Stuff that in there. It just a little bit ran out. So I don't think it's going to drain like they say. But here we go. I'm going to set you up here. Hold on. Alright. I'm going to take this off and see if this drains. It's just going to drain a little bit. I think that's just what's in the pump. We're going to let that go for a little bit and see what happens. But I don't think that's going to drain like they told me to, like it was. No, it's not. So, this is not a big project at all. Um, yeah, they told me that would drain and all that oil would come out. Um, let me pull you down here. That was empty when I started. So that's all I've lost and that was also in the oil cooler. Um, if that's a quart, I'd be surprised. So, we're just going to pop them off real quick, and uh, we'll get on to the hooking the front end part up. So, hang tight here. All right. The simplest thing to do is just score that. Then shove a screwdriver in there and peel it back. There you go. Now, let's make sure we get this on right. And then we'll get this one going. Now I didn't show you the front because the front's no different than this right here. Okay, you're just gonna loosen these off. And I'll be honest with you, I was worried about oil running everywhere. Because they told me, was it 15 gallons this thing holds? You know, they said it would drain down till it was level with that. Yuck, that was a mess. It would drain down till it was level. He said 15 to 15 to 20 quarts, I'd have to fill up. Five gallon bucket or so. But that is not the case. Now this is a uh, 1086, 1979 is a year on this, so uh, different years could do different things. I don't know, but 
this one did not do as they said it would. So, we'll tighten this up and we'll get to the front. All we're gonna do is run this hose up through these brackets. I'll show you that here in a minute. All right, before I put this back in, I'm going back to my old HVAC days. And I got a fin comb here. I'm going to try to straighten some of these fins out. Pretty easy when, a fin, when you got a fin comb. But um, what's tough about it is my fin comb don't go large enough. Here we go. Eight as large as I go, and I think this is probably closer to seven. They're different sizes. Eight's the largest I got, 15. 15 combs per inch is what it means. So it's probably a seven on this, but straighten some of them back out. I'm more worried about the ones here in the middle that got dinged. Well, that fit right on there. Eight combs an inch. This is a technical way to measure. Make sure you get it the right length. And we're just going to cut it. Well, I want to be able to tighten that when it's on there, so we're going to go like this. <clears throat> Stuff that on there. And then there's this one. No biggie, just slide them on. And I spent about a half hour straightening them combs up. That'll make a big difference because that lets the air flow through there into the radiator as well. All right, I end up flipping that over so it's easier to tighten up. I had it going this way and I spun it around so it's that way. And then we're just gonna get this down in position. Let me go get the bolts and we'll put it back together. I forgot these goofy things go in here. So let me see if I can get those in there. Don't know what the purpose of that is, but that's there. And they're on there. And this is simply a washer. And I call these a thumb nut, wing nut. All right, we're gonna start this up, check for leaks, hoping that there is none. All right, we got everything tightened back up. We got the nuts on, wing nuts. Got this flipped around, tightened up in place. Just looking over, making sure everything's lined up, out of belts ways. Don't want that rubbing that belt. It's up in the grooves there, here. I just double checked the tightness on this down here. So we're gonna crawl in the cab and start it up and see what happens. Well, 
I know you probably can't hear me, but everything right now looks pretty good. So we're gonna let it run for a little bit. See how it goes. We'll be back. Well, we got it back in the barn. All that's left is putting these covers on, but I want to clean the inside of them. We'll do that later, but no leaks. Everything looks good. I did spend a lot of time washing. There was boatloads of oil and crud down in there, and while we had it apart, we cleaned it. That's just me. I go overboard when I do something, but we're not going to get you guys wrapped up into all the little extra things I do, like cleaning. But anyway, yep, straightforward. It does not run oil out like they said it does. So that's good. Uh, that's nice and warmed up from the ride. Well, I didn't take a ride, but just letting it warm up out there. So, And I didn't see any leaks down there, but we'll keep an eye on it. Make sure everything runs good. Hope you like the uh, little project here, changing the oil lines out on the uh, transmission cooler. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.